or workflow for video generation. This is what I use. Animate diff. Let me give you a brief introduction. I will introduce it in detail later. First, a reference. Video import. With or without sound, it's all right. When you move the mouse over, there will be a sound. Input, yes. Then use this automatic cutout to cut it out. This app adapter is needed for reference. For example, I want to generate an animation I gave him a noodles. piece of needle as a reference. Then there is a reference for the video background. I have detailed markings here. This is a picture of dancing. Dancing pictures are best kept simple. For example, water drops or noodles will do. Give him a reference. The weight here is set higher. Give this image of the movement a higher weight. He will be more detailed. Then this is to give him a background reference. The weight can be low here. Finally, a model generated by this video. This one here is increased, the movement is more natural. Below is a model of this generated animation. Then through the following row picture, a graph generating model for graph generating graphs. Here is a simple description. This spaghetti can. Okay, the action reference here is more important. He used a keyword curve to generate a control net. But here it is mainly used to control its custom shape outline. So the weight here is lower. Only 0 0.5. Below is the line drawing reference. Take this, extract the line drawing, and refer to it again. Finally, through the figure, generate a preliminary one. A video of noodles dancing. This is very blurry at this time. The last three are mainly HD. HD zoom and noise reduction are smoother. These three are usually generated after this. Initial case. Once you are satisfied, you can generate the following. So generally, the latter is advanced disabled. If you are, if you are not satisfied with that, there is no need for HD noise reduction or HD magnification. Add that noise reduction. This way the soup noodles are very high definition and no blur. Everything is improved and it is perfect. Initially, it was very imperfect. This is equivalent to another raw picture. This is just the reference action video for him. So if you want to use, just give him a reference video of the action first. Give him another picture that you need to press to move it. Give him another background. Background reference for the video. Mainly provide these three materials. Then write down the prompt. Just modify it. I am using the online mirror of Duena Cloud. This way, there is no need for local deployment and installation Quick. directly. If you can see the latest workflow, exactly the same as I'm mine. I'm using an online mirror. You can see this workflow that makes noodles dance. Then you open it. That's how I am now. If I can use it, you can use it too. If you want to install locally, you can open my notes. Click on Configure Tutorial. In this video version, click. The first one is to generate a video of making noodles dance. Click to download and introduce all models. There is also a simple comparison of the difference in parameter settings. 
For example, if this is set to 1, his precision will be higher. If this key is set to 1, his background would be more perfect. Then below is a model with some movements. This is the model that ControlNet used to generate a QR card. Here it is used as, how do you understand this? This custom shape is more perfect because QR codes are more suitable for custom shapes. Better control. So here we take the control knob of the QR code and use it to control its shape. There is a workflow download below. This is suitable for local deployment. Of course, it would be even better to use my image directly Click. online. Directly. Just let me know. All my workflows are available directly online. You can see that I can use it now. You can also use because this mirror is exactly the same. As for all other workflows, they can also be used directly online. You don't need to consider this model deployment and installation. Like this one. Model deployment and installation. I will explain it in detail here. You can click on it to see what model it is. Where to put it? This is the local deployment. Then here, too, the role of this model, or. I will put the download address here. You can use it when you install it locally. Same for others. If you don't understand, you can check it directly in this annotation. His model. Effect and impact. This is also annotated here. This picture is used as a reference for the video background. Below is a picture of a material used for dancing. Material picture. Image reference, this is the control one. Main body reference. The background reference is to control this one. This is his wedge. If you add more, it will be more accurate and detailed. Other defaults are fine, because I have already set it up. Everyone can use it right away. My video is just an instruction manual. I'm not asking you to build it or anything. I think this kind of modular use will be the future. In fact, I won't answer even if you ask me But I can me disassemble it. This modular to use. Okay, let's go play.